11 Lessons Online. Alright, we're back in Human Geography. Okay, back to Team 2. Moving on to Part 6 on Millennium Development Goals. Alright, this is your MDGs. It is just a very small proportion, a small part of this Team 2.1 that you need to know. Alright, and it links very closely to your Sustainable Development Goals. Alright, the SDGs I'll be covering in the next part, Part 7. So stay tuned for that part as well. Um, for this one, we're just going to go through. It's not, I don't have a lot of slides, so it's quite a simple lecture um, that we're just going to be going through, right? Your, your MDGs. Alright, so what are the MDGs? Okay, the, M, the Millennium Development Goals, right? They were essentially kind of like for the millennium, right? So um, they were developed in 2000, okay, year 2000, September, right, whereby 189 countries committed themselves to this thing called the Millennium Declaration. Do you need to know this? No, you don't, all right? Essentially, what they did was they just committed to um, achieving these Millennium Development Goals by 2015. So the MG MDGs actually consisted of eight different goals set out to eradicate poverty and improve living standards. That was the general aim for over a billion people, by 2015, okay, especially for your less developed countries, right, your developing na uh, regions and nations such as Africa. So what the MDGs sought to do was to ensure that poverty and um, living standards were eradicated and improved respectively for over a billion people by 2015, which is five years ago, right? It has passed already. Um, so obviously, if you guys are paying attention to the news, right, you would know that these goals were actually replaced by your post-2015 agenda, which is your sustainable development goals, right? So the one I'll go through in the next video, don't worry, but essentially just know that this is um, basically what happened, okay? This was when it was formed. So these are the eight different goals, okay? It's a bunch of different goals, right? You've got firstly, reducing poverty and social exclusion. You've got achieving universal primary education, promoting gender equality and empowering women, um, reducing child mortality, improving ma material health, all right, combating any sort of HIV, AIDS, as well as tuberculosis, ensuring environmental sustainability as your seventh goal, and lastly, partnership for development. So these are the eight main goals, right? You, do you need to know them? You just need to know basically the main headers and what they are basically about, right? So from these titles itself, you can roughly infer what they are trying to get at, right? So within these goals, there are sub-goals, for instance, ensuring environmental sustainability, uh, sustainability has... Sub goal 7.1, 7.2, 7.3. I think there were four sub goals for that one. And they all basically set out to um, ensure that different aspects of environmental sustainability were achieved. Okay, so this part on MDGs and SDGs, you want to be looking at the evaluative portion of it. So did it succeed? Did it not succeed? How did they measure it, right? So the progress for this MDGs, okay, overall the MDGs were actually deemed a success by several countries, right? They feel that they had actually succeeded. Okay, this is particularly for the developing, uh, not, the, not, not, not developing, the developed countries. So countries which essentially are more developed. Okay, so many goals were actually likely to be realized by the 2015 deadline. So a lot of them were on the way to being achieved by 2015, right? But then if you guys know, in 2012, they revised the whole thing, right? But then a lot of them were actually on track to being achieved by 2015. Um, so the process of those without access to clean water were actually halved, okay, by 2015. This is just an example of how it was almost um, resolved. Okay, as well as the rate of new HIV infections was slowing down and the treatment of virus was actually more affordable in the less developed countries. So these are just two examples of um, the two goals which have actually um, almost succeeded, right, had it not been replaced by the SDGs. All right, then what are the flaws? Okay, what are some of the drawbacks of MDGs? Why did it um, not succeed in certain countries? So one third of developing countries were actually falling short of this 2015 deadline. Right, so if you follow this rate of progress, right, by 2049, okay, 2049, not 1, okay, um, they will only have been able to meet the MDG targets, okay, at 77% 70, 70 of global population with access to adequate sanitation. So in particular, what happens is that um, most of the less developed countries, okay, they didn't actually manage to improve the sanitation levels and a lot of them were struggling, right? They didn't have any help because they have a lack of technology and the governance is slightly weaker in those countries. So in reality also, a lot of the environmental goals were actually not achieved, okay, especially in these less developed countries due to a lack of technology and help from developing nations, uh, from developed nations. So that was one thing that later on you would learn that SDGs sought to actually um, achieve 
was to actually ensure that the developed nations which have already succeeded in achieving the MDGs would go on to help the less developed countries which were still struggling. Okay, so that's all I actually have, right? It's a very, very short video. So you just need to know what the exam requirements are. So just take note that MDGs, they tend to work in hand with your SDGs, your Sustainable Development Goals, which I'll cover in the next video. So these are the post-2015 versions. So subsequently, what the government actually set out to do. Um, so what you need to do, oh, not government, sorry, what United Nations set out to actually um, achieve coming, leading into 2030. So all you need to do for this part is to compare the benefits and drawbacks of both sets of goals. So the SDGs and the MDGs, okay, they look at what has succeeded in the two. Okay, in this case, our MDGs, okay, and why was there a need to create the SDGs, right? So why was there a need to improve on the MDGs? So like I said, it's mainly because of the fact that the MDGs did not manage to tackle um, and provide help, okay, in ensuring that the less developed countries also succeeded and they basically missed out certain aspects, okay, of the um, overall sustainable development. So later on, you'll learn that sustainable development goals were actually have been quite successful thus far, right, and it's on route to, to actually succeeding by 2030, and it's definitely a much better set of goals that the United Nations has actually come up with. Okay, it's more comprehensive, and it ensures that the less developed countries and nations are being tackled as well. Alright, so that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a like as well as to comment. Okay, any questions that you may have, I'll answer them as well. And to subscribe, okay, it doesn't cost you anything, so you can just hit the button, it really does help me out a lot. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video on sustainable development goals. Get ready for that part. It's also a very short video, and I think it's quite useful in ensuring that you understand um, that for this part of the syllabus, you just need to know that these are certain indicators and certain targets, guidelines, okay, that a lot of countries can follow to ensure that they achieve sustainable development. Alright, so if not, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.